Here we go. DJ. Hey, Uncle Wayne. What's going on, man? Live and coming at you from straight from the hip. One thing real quick. Oh, really? It getting better be quick. We're getting some letters from people. Have all day. And, uh, some uh, people have dropped us some uh, lines and uh, actually a phone call or two. Mm -hmm. um, the focusing. And it's just part of the get the go. We got the camera. We're trying to do the best we can with it and uh, just kind of deal with it. It's kind of part of the gig, right? Well, I think I got it right today, but you got to, you know, the audio one's got to come through a little bit better. I mean, you know, the equipment's probably circa 2009. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, buddy. It's, it's more important that the, the content <laughs> the content's here. is more important. Okay. Listen, I don't know if you want to see me yeah. focused in good. Nobody needs to see this. In yeah. fact, I wonder if the focusing works, but there's artificial intelligence in the camera. The camera might just not be able to handle what it's picking up. You know? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I mean, my the camera's, the camera's like a mud fence. I was in with my dermatologist for an hour yesterday. He was looking at you. He goes, I haven't seen shit like that in 40 years of dermatology. <laughs> so, and I said, well, wait a minute. First off, do, I, do all dermatologists look down there? I don't know what they're <laughs> Hey, that's not, did you tell him that's not a finger ball? Well, I, you know, it's, when he, <laughs> it's a one-way one street, too. Out. Yeah, out. Anyways. So, anyway, uh, a couple things I, I want to start with, if that's all right. No, go ahead. Okay, what are you wearing, by the way? USS Little Rock? USS Little Rock, and I don't the ship downtown. Nice, nice. Um, so, uh, I read today that uh, what is going on with the Popeyes? We let the people in the watch, but, you know, can we stop sucking down? <laughs> Popping open like Bud Light. Um, so, I read the paper today, and uh, a wonderful young man named Jason Washington, um, who killed that poor football coach on the east side, uh, in front of about 15 people, okay? Well, today, Mama Washington, oh, I'm sorry, it's not, it's not Washington, I'm sorry, it's Mama, you know, Jackson 5 or something. Anyway, Mama very upset. He's a good boy. He laughed a lot, okay? Uh, they can't, they're not going to prove this, 15 witnesses. Uh, oh, and he's been a criminal to the Buffalo Police. He's been in their system since 2011, all right? Um, no, I'm sorry, not 2011, since he was 11. I apologize. Uh, we have a forcible entry, uh, burglary, and etc. But he's a wonderful boy, and what, what the Buffalo Police and Buffalo News are doing is projecting him as just this horrible monster. Well, ma'am, he is a monster. And I gotta tell you something, I have children, but if my son in cold blood, unprovoked, shot somebody, I wouldn't be in the Buffalo News saying he's a wonderful boy. I would be apologizing to that young man's parents for, for killing him. I would ask Mama Jackson Five if, uh, <laughs> why did that have to escalate to a murder? That's all it does. Everybody's, everybody's got a gun and they pop you. Gonna pop your ass. Everything has to escalate. escalate. It's a anyway, that, that really hit me. And, it got, and let me tell you, right now on film, I don't care what color anybody is. Don't come in the paper and say little Jackson, you know, little, little whatever his name was, Washington, is a wonderful young man. He smiled a lot. He's a goddamn criminal. You raised a goddamn criminal. If you can't do the time, time don't do the crime. Yep. Right? But now what are we doing? We're going to lessen the crimes the time because it's not fair and now you can go to Mets games in New York City we're at a bodega yeah. promise to come back for your hearing and you'll get a couple Mets tickets hey this, hoorah this right? guy tried to help inner city society. youth he tried yeah. to help inner city youth by, by being a coach and hey, he goes over there and they shoot him okay. anyway I'm done with that but I, I thought it appalling and it's just my my, my thing no, it's a good take it does anger you uh, uh, it's uh, and I want to I want to say a couple things. So now the Buffalo Bills, we were on uh, after the Dallas game, so we know we wiped the, the snot out of them. Um, really good take by a guy I respect. I wanted to tell you about. It, I read. So uh, Joe Biscaglia used to be Channel Seven. Now he's uh, I think the Athletic or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I think he knows his football, and I think he's a guy that really doesn't have a vendetta or a t uh, you know trying to you know against certain people. Right. And I read with with uh, interest on in a couple of things he said. First off, he said that, um, uh, uh, what's the kid, uh, the, the offensive tackle? Uh, Ford. Ford. Ford is struggling badly at tackle. Now, he said, what you're going to say <coughs> is that, oh, he did really well against Von Miller, and they didn't sack, uh, you know, us too much on, on, uh, on Turkey Day. He showed the clips. The only way he stopped Von Miller was with a lot of help, okay? And by the way, not getting on the kid, I'm just saying I think he's a guard. Then he showed the, the tape 
uh, all the all the tapes from the Dallas game, and he was just smoked. They walked right by him. Now he said, "What's making that covering it up is Josh Allen being as great as he's been. You know, he he's stepping up in the pocket. He's rolling out. He's rolling away from it. Um, so he said, this Josh Allen to him now, analytically and through film, is the real deal. Yeah. Especially in the offense. You know, we talked a lot about how Jackson, uh, the the offense was made for him in Baltimore. Well." This guy, who everybody wanted to fire, Dayball, has now made an offense right. for this kid, and and he's eating it up. Okay, so I just wanted to say that there was one other point about that, and then I'll I'll drop it. Um, there's a lot of talk, and I think by the naked eye, I've loved what Shaq Lawson has done. Mm -hmm. Absolutely loved it. He said via watching the film, he probably wouldn't give him a gigantic contract. Um, he said uh, t three of his last four sacks have been he's been unblocked. Um, and that was scheme. Um, he's not doing much to stop the rush, and he he struck. But he said more than that is you're probably looking at the dismissal, uh, you know, of the clown we picked up from Washington, um, the defensive end Murphy. Oh, okay. Because he said uh, Murphy's doing absolutely nothing with 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 a rush or with uh, with stopping the run. In fact, he said, yeah, he got that strip sack last week because. Uh, the quarterback, uh, you know, uh, Dak Prescott held it for about seven seconds. He goes, he's not beating anybody. I just wanted to bring that up, and and uh, I know that not everybody's always right and all that, but I just say, I think Cody Ford is a guard, and uh, that means we probably got to look for a left tackle. Well, and the good news is Ty Insecki is not is not out for the year. Right. So we were hoping to get him back. Thank God, because he has been playing well. Yes. We have that. Waddell, who we signed, I don't, I think it was a one-year deal. La Adrian Waddell, and yeah. Another player we could. By the way, his, his wife on on Twitter is Mrs. Wads. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. No, I know. Okay. I, um, but anyway, yeah, Waddell, I, I I had a high hopes for him, and maybe if he comes off that injury and shows something, they get him for another year. I'm not saying you know this guy's terrible or anything like that. I just think he's gonna he could be a Pro Bowl guard. I don't know if he has the foot speed for tackle. Well, and and it's always tough on on rookie old linemen. I know a lot of people thought Dawkins. Was a guard, but boy, he's really looking nice at left tackle. That's a good point. Maybe he can fix it. He handles points well there, but just remember, a lot of way, lot, long way to go though. But when draft time rolls around and the Bills start talking about that outside uh, end, and everybody rolls their eyes, let's get a receiver. It's nope. very important to get somebody that can disrupt their passing game. Correct. Now that's not if there's a really good receiver wherever we're drafting. Right. But don't. Yeah, but they also have that. Don't discount that. Don't discount that. And they also no. have that Daryl Johnson kid who's coming out. I'd be curious to ask uh, Joe or whatever how he's looked, or maybe he even said that how he's looked on tape. They said that he's uh, well. First of all, he's not getting a ton of snaps anymore. He's getting like eight, nine snaps. But they said he is. Uh, he's very, very raw, but has great base talent. So you know, so he could you be got somebody there, right? You know? um, but anyway, I thought I just want to bring those up because I thought it was very interesting, um, and uh, you know. No, they know that that Ford struggled. So what they do is they, they get a tight end over there. I'm not saying it's going to end uh, the whole year for us. I'm just right. saying maybe next year he opens a guard. Um, By the way, uh, not the only one in the league to get help with Von Miller either, right? Oh boy, got that right. That guy's scary. That guy's the guy. Scary. I really like coming out, uh, but obviously he went just ahead of us to Denver. One ahead to Denver, and we picked you know who? Uh, Darius. That's right. We also liked Cam Newton, but Von Miller was somebody I know the Bills really liked. They wanted Von Miller. Yeah, I know a guy over there in, San, in janitorial, yeah. and he was he happened to be doing some cleaning. And over kind of overheard it. Yeah, yeah. They, they really liked well, him. Well, they took him two, and I think we took Marcel Darius three. Three, and he and, was a little bit, but, you know, bummed out about Well, there is, uh, you know, uh, pure talent. I, you know, he started out pretty well, but then it... It's all things in his head, you know, uh, and it really took it really ruined his career. Has he, is he is he still seriously playing for Jacksonville? Is he? I don't see him on the field much. He's not getting the snaps. Moron grabbed him. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. Anything else with the Bills? A big uh, one coming up against Baltimore. Yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to say that I think that um, first time in a long time, and it's not because I'm anti Bills. I, you know, guys, you you guys know we we love our Bills, but I'm really starting to believe that this might be something special. You know, like I said three, four, five weeks ago, Baltimore's going to come in here to be annihilation. I don't think that at all anymore. No, I mean, this team can play. We no can play, we can play football, and we could beat New England down there too. If by we don't, the, by the if way, we don't uh, get the phantom hold. By the way, one point I got about the old line again. For years, Tom Brady didn't really have much of an offensive line. In fact, even 
This yeah. year, his yeah. offensive line is weak, right. and they don't sack him. The good quarterbacks, when the lights go off and all that stuff, get rid of the they, they get rid of the football. And it's football. great to hear that jo Josh is uh, is becoming that. I mean, we're seeing it too with oh. the live eye, with the live eye. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's absolutely true, and uh, no, it's really exciting. I think uh, regardless of you know, if we lose a Baltimore or with, against Baltimore, um, I don't think it's the end of the world or anything like that. Uh, they're a hell of a football team. But I'm, but as I sit here today on Wednesday before the game, I, I don't see any reason why we can't beat them. Yeah, it's uh, the, the, no doubt about it. Um, they had uh, uh, the, the Baldinger that used to play here. Gary Baldinger was on the other day, and he said uh, the, he he thinks the Bills will beat Baltimore. By mm -hmm. the way, yeah. But he said it'd be curious to watch how they how they play us, how they attack us to see just what they see, and could help the Bills down the road in a in a playoff it's match sure against either them again or somebody else. I think we're around. And flex to the Pittsburgh game. That's going to be pretty cool in Sunday Night Football. It is going to be pretty cool, and I really hope that uh, we play like we can play and not let the crowd get to us. It doesn't seem like Josh and these guys let the crowd get to them. Yeah, I mean, doesn't. they played in Dallas on Thanksgiving right. and just went with the silent count and just got things done. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's an issue and, uh, at all with that. So, so that would be cool. Um, I, I don't know. I, I if I was a betting man, I'd probably say the Bills lose by four. I had a, I had a laugh about something, too. Um, the other day they were talking about going down to Miami, and uh, they had uh, Eric Wood was on, mm -hmm. and someone was on, too, from the old Bills. I can't remember who. And they said, uh, oh, before we'd go down to Miami, they used to pump the heat up in the dome. Um, in the air, you know, the practice facility. Practice facility yeah. And he says, we'd all be exhausted. We didn't get a good practice in. A, a couple of things. How do you heat that thing up that warm? You know, like a boiler or something. Like that was confusing to me. And number two, um, they also said they wouldn't name that coach that did that. But he would jack the heat up. And he goes, it didn't do any... You, the, the point was the Bills were practicing. No, I don't think it was him. The Bills were practicing outside that day, and it was about 40 or 35 degrees. Right. But Eric Wood said, and whoever the Bill was, and forgive me, I don't remember, it's more important to get a good practice in than to worry about that stuff. Yeah, I agree. And the pumped-in sound and all that. You can do a little bit of that, but once you got your stuff done, get a good practice in. Yeah. thought that was interesting, but they, I, I, I was, confu I was uh, confused. How do you eat the practice Facility. Well, if you have enough money, you can do anything you want. I mean, you can buy like 4,000 ton no, infrared I, heaters. But, I agree with that, but, but when do you start? Three days before practice? <laughs> I don't know. I'll find out because I, I have my You're, holiday party yeah, Sunday after the game. You ask them that because... I understand there's going to be uh, rolled bologna and uh, a couple of okay. olives. Not Is it a happy holiday or a merry Christmas party? It's a holiday. Uh, we got to care about our Jewish and Kwanzaa folks. Oh, boy. Yeah. But uh, the I, bills are, you know... Sabres now? You want to talk, touch base Let's talk that? about the Sabres. Um, everybody's getting giddy with the uh, 7D. Get jiggy think, with it. I think you and I have a little different opinion. Sure, I'd like to have a forward there. I think that uh, it's nice that we're winning. You know, we're really happy. Um, again, I go to some of the things I've read, and we are taking shots from unsustainable areas as far as goal scoring. Before anybody gets mad at us, like Wayne said about the Bills, <clears throat> same with the Sabres. We love them. Oh, I but love we, watching the game. Our age has made us or allowed us to think more with the head than with the heart. Yep. And I, we still think with the other thing, but that's another show. <laughs> but uh, the Sabres... Sorry, Tia. It, it's unsustainable. <laughs> it's unsustainable some of the things that are happening right now. That's now, right. there's good signs. Jimmy Vc scoring. Yep. I think middle stats looking a lot better. Um, but... Um, some of the shots that even Jack's scoring yeah. on. It's, he's, he's at a 17% clip, which is about double what he does normally. And that's no knock, but that's but just that, hot. Yeah, hot. You, yeah you, you kind of regress to the mean. It's pure gonna statistics. Shake my head up and Are you going to shake your head? But, Did uh, I hear what I said? It's kind of cool. Yeah. Regress to the mean. Right. It's kind of neat. <laughs> anyway, um, they, uh, the other thing is, is they're, they're looking. You score uh, right outside the crease, pretty much, on rebounds and stuff in the NHL and in the circles. And the shot, I just saw a heat map this morning that showed where we're shoot, where we're scoring from and where we're shooting from. Yeesh. And the other thing too, guys, what we're getting jiggy. Uh, they were naming unsung heroes. To me, it's uh, Jeff Skinner. The man has 11 goals somehow playing with no. Aren't they all five on five? All five on five. He's playing with no one, and I know we're all getting excited about Johan, but guys, <laughs> it's dead ice because it's too many minutes for nothing happening. Yep. Okay. And Gergensen's, by the way, they're penalty killers. 
Our penalty kill isn't that good, everybody. Calm down. It's actually horrible. And when the puck, they get a lot of chance. When you're on the ice, for as long as those two guys are, you got to chip in something more than staying in their zone for a full two minutes on a penalty kill. That's right. And Skinner, to me, is somehow he's got 11 goals with nobody. Um, guys, is there any way we could trade a Connor Sherry for Marcus Foligno? Yeah, I think we need somebody to pound a snot out of somebody. Well, just have that physical force there, right? Yeah, I know. I, first of all, I don't mean just like not a robbery where you just drop right. balls because it's fun. Um, but, you know, you take a run at our, uh, Jack, like, or Skinner, or our goaltender. Or Darlene. Yeah, Darlene, like, happened, and now you're going to pay. You're going to pay. Um, so, anyway, the Sabres, uh, very, very, uh, just thrilled that we're actually back in this race. So, for again, for those doubters, we love the Sabres. Um, I love that 7-1 the other day. But as you watched 5 nothing unfold, you right. said to yourself, wow. By the way, too, in that game, um, I know... Some of the commentators were saying a full 60 minutes. Actually, we kind of coasted in the third, and rightfully so. Rest some of our guys because we have had a lot of games in a row, right. or back to back, or in a short period of time. But uh, we got to have a shot in that game. Yeah, 45 32. <laughs> so there you go. We got, I don't know what domination is, yeah, but uh, I guess it's a definite. We dominated because we were playing Dominique, the goaltender, or whatever the hell his name is. Diango. But <laughs> no, but our, our sniper sniped. They did. Uh, well, for example, a couple of those goals were huge. Olsen was unbelievable. Nobody's stopping that. I don't care. Jeff Skinner's goal was a snipe. Unbelievable. After that, Eichel. though, bouncing off people's heads. And, right. And Eichel fired in and dribbled through his pads. And some of that stuff's not going to happen when right. you're playing uh, some of the top goaltenders, Vasilevsky. And... Right. But then again, hey, you take them when we can get them, too, right? Oh, no. I oh, totally agree with that. I'm just saying. I would so, have liked to have seen us, though, go get 10. But they did rest, I think, some of the guys a little bit. Big thing, too, the D, I don't like the 7D, but keeping Risto under 20 minutes, oh, oh, what a difference, huh? Oh, it's huge. And you know what? I almost have to say, if it takes having 7D to keep him under 20 minutes, I'm almost like, okay, go ahead. Because I, I don't like the 7D, but we're a much better team with him not playing 26 minutes. And, and one last thing, too. If you're out at a bar next couple of weeks, out at a bar, this year or whatever. Did you go to Canada, Canada bar? Right, and there's a guy sitting next to you with the fake nose and glasses oh, yeah. and a wig, and yeah. he's asking a lot of questions about the Sabres. Could you do yeah. me a favor and ask him why a 40-goal scorer doesn't see the ice in overtime? <laughs> and uh, a little more on the power play. I know he did play uh, on the power play the other night, but yeah. how do you not use Jeff Skinner in overtime against Toronto in, in, in his hometown? Yeah, it's, it's hard. So if there's a guy sitting next to you and he's asking a lot of questions, but he looks funny, like, is that really... Nose and glasses. Um, yeah, or he takes him. his glasses off and his nose and mustache go with it. <laughs> Could you just ask him why Skinner isn't playing in overtime? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, he's he's my uh, he's my MVP of the league, scoring 11 goals with the guys he's been with. And one last thing, uh, holiday shopping season coming up. We got a lot more time before Christmas. But got an idea? I did it. What? I bought a Walrus Tusk. Oh yeah. Uh, it's for self defense. I don't know if you saw the London Bridge. I did. But that was one of the things used to subdue that the and a fire extinguisher. And, and um, you can mount those things very nicely in a the house. They look great. This time of year, you got a lot of bad things going on, all of all times. But you got the porch pirates. Hey, you grab that tusk. It's on Stick the wall. Stick it right up their ass. And you go out and mean business. And they'll know you mean business when, when you, you got, got a tusk. A tusk. Now, I guess one thing to say as a humanitarian event for animals, don't get a secondhand tusk. All right, don't get it from somebody who just went over there and just saw no, it off. First off, you, you're 100. Thanks for bringing that up. There's dentists out there that work on these tusks. There, some of them have tusk um, canals done. Yeah. And they're all <laughs> safely obtained tusks. Do not get the poached tusks. Okay. And it's not what you want. And you, if you go online, they'll have the license on the on, a, a, a true seller will have whether it's poached or not. They have to tell you. Okay. So and they can monitor post tusk and be ready for your home invasions. Right, and take take a quick video on it because you, what you don't want to do is have that tusk end up in the hands of the porch pirate because yeah. then it can be used against you. You right. want to know what you're doing with the tusk, but I'll tell you what, when you come out that door with the tusk, they're going to know you're going to fly. And I'll tell you what, that tusk is very pointed and they'll know where, where you're going for. Yep. Okay. Now, we're running out of time. They are taking the tusk too for some of the elderly. Walruses too that they can't carry the weight of the square anyway. going down. So anyway. find the safe tusk. So yeah, find safe. <laughs> so that's great. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. We what do you think, Bills? Prediction. Uh, you were great on the Dallas prediction, by the way. You said Bills are going to win that game. Yeah, I I, I like. I didn't like the matchup. Too. I think 30-20 Bills. Wow. I'm going to say 24-20 Ravens. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. 
No, could very well be, but I, 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 I know. just feel good about this team. I'm trying right to, now. this is with my head. My heart says we'll beat him. So, uh, again, I, I'm not a gambling man, but if I were. Same here. Um, what else? What is the spread on that, by the way? It's down to five. Five and a half. We're it hit. was seven and a half, yeah. I so, def- people are betting the Bills. I definitely take the Bills, if, you know, if, if I had to bet. Yeah. Five, uh, take the Bills five at five. Uh, okay, so I think that Sabres are out west. Tomorrow night we start at Calgary. Mm-hmm. Then we go to Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Edmonton. Mm-hmm. By the way, is Vancouver doing anything with their 50th? Uh, I know they're out west. Right. I have not seen much on that. Of course, we don't even see Connor McDavid because he's up in that hellhole. No. They fixed it to give it to Edmonton, and then now nobody sees him. He could no. have been a star here. An yeah. absolute. Yeah. He could have been the face of the NHL here. By the way, I love Jack Eichel. Yeah, we do too. 111 point. He's, he's on pace for 111 points. God bless you, Jack. Yep. You're, you're putting down the naysayers, and I think we got to go. So, last words. Uh, hey, remember, and take time to enjoy the view. Love everybody, and uh, have fun Christmas shopping, everybody. That's great. I agree with that. I'm not even going to say keep an ear next, even though I just did. I'm going to say love yourself, love your family, love your friends, because we don't know how many days we right. get on this earth, man. Just 